in your mother's womb, you vowed not to be born again. When will you recall the vow? And die, even while alive, to all desire, and be released from birth and death. Great honour will be yours in this life, and great honour after death. Why have you sunk deep in the sea of the illusory pleasures of the world? Why have you pulled down the high banked road which could have led you safe across? The dense darkness of ignorance surrounds you now. And at the appointed time, the Lord of Death's apparitions prepare to drag your body, bleeding to death. Who can dispel your fear of death? Slay the murderous demons, lust, anger, and greed. Or, aiming their arrows at you, they will surely shoot you dead. Take care. Feed them on self-restraint and discrimination of the self. Thus starved, these demons will become powerless and weak. Ocean and the human mind are both alike. Under the ocean's bottom lies the destructive fire. And in the breast of humans rages the fire of wrath. When the fire breaks out, its flames of angry, abusive words sear and scorch and burn. But if one ponders, unruffled and calm, and weighs the words, though angry they be, they have no substance, no, nor weight. I might disperse the southern clouds, I might drain out the sea, I might cure the incurable sick, but I cannot convince a fool. By pandering to your appetites, you get nowhere. By penance and fasting, you get conceit. Be moderate in food and drink, 
and live a moderate life. The gates of heaven will surely be thrown open wide for you. I have to suffer the consequence of whatever I do, even if I work for others' gain. But if, with mind from attachment free, I dedicate all works to God, it will be well for me, wherever I be, here and hereafter. I have worn out my palate and tongue reading the holy books, but I have not learnt the practices that would please my Lord. I have worn thin my finger and thumb telling the rosary beads, but I have not been able to dispel duality from my mind. Patience to endure lightning and thunder. Patience to face darkness at noon. Patience to go through a grinding mill. Be patient, whatever befalls you. Doubting not that that will surely come to you. Have no fear, O restless mind. The Eternal One takes thought for you. It knows how to fulfill your wants. Then cry to the Divine alone for help. Its name will lead you safe across. A thousand times, my guru, I asked, how shall the nameless be defined? I asked and asked, but all in vain. The nameless unknown, it seems to me, is the source of the something that we see. Lala embarked on going searching. A cotton flower, thorns and carders pricked and kicked me hard as a spinner spun me thin on the spinning wheel. 
The weaver hung me by the leg on the loom. As the washerman rubbed me with soap, he dashed me against a stone and washed me clean. Soothed I was on seeing water. And when the tailor moved his machine to shape me well, there and then, I attained supreme salvation and bliss. Draped in stores of knowledge, the points of the verses that Lala sang became organic parts of her heart and soul. Her self-consciousness awakened and removed all doubts of death. Dying and giving birth go on inside the one consciousness. But most people misunderstand the pure play of creative energy. How inside that, they are one event. Give up imagining that the skill of killing desire and meditating on the self are too costly to buy. That stands close by you. Do not look for it far away. The void was dissolved in the void. Your way of knowing is a private herb garden. Enclose it with a hedge of meditation and self-discipline and helpfulness to others. Then everything you've done before will be brought as a sacrifice to the Mother Goddess. And each day, 
as you eat the herbs, your garden grows more bare and empty. Forcing in emptiness, I, Lala, dropped off body and mind and stepped into the secret self. Look, Lala. The sedge flower blossomed a lotus. When my mind was cleansed of impurities, like a mirror of its dust and dirt, I recognised the self in me. When I saw the divine dwelling in me, I realized that it was the everything and I was nothing. 